Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome to my community. Many things happened recently, uh, I, I started to have more flights in my job, with my cabin crew job, and that's a good thing, that's a good sign for the near future, at least in my case. During this pandemic I sit too much, you know, I, I stay too much at home and uh, I, I didn't have much work, so right now I'm super excited because I have four flights a month, something like that. So this is quite good, I would say, right? I have here with me a souvenir. I got this as a gift. Uh, recently, I attended Formula One event in Abu Dhabi and it was quite a, a private event, to be honest. Um, mostly sponsors and, you know, VIPs and so on and so forth, but no public because of the Corona, obviously. But it was a very nice event. Um, it was very exciting to see the race. I attended the event as a promo, part of the promotional team, promotional personnel. I got this, uh, this uh, Dreamliner, it had Airways Boeing 787 Dreamliner and it is a Formula One uh, livery. What is a livery? Some of you that are not familiar with this word might ask. Livery means uh, the painting on the aircraft, right? So the painting on the aircraft resembles uh, Formula One uh, style, you know? It's, it's, it's a Formula One style paint job. <laughs> and I've flown with this aircraft many times. I, I operated on this aircraft many times, um, on this Boeing 787 and it's quite a spectacle to look at. And yeah, it's a collector's edition. So let's just unbox it really quick. Ooh, very nice. Get it. Uh, I think I have the wings as well. This is the body of the aircraft. Oh, the wings are here and everything is here. Okay, cool. Let's, let's try it out. Very nice. Now you would say, hey Alex, you look like a child because you're assembling a aircraft toy. But let me remind you, this is not actually just a toy. This is more of an enthusiast kind of thing, right? Because there are so many people that collect those, those um, airplane models, especially as this one, for example, being an official airplane model, uh, it's quite valuable, right? Oh, this, everything is very nicely packed, you know? I even have a, a card with assembly, yeah, instructions. <laughs> Let me open this up. And very fancy indeed. This is official Boeing product. Official Boeing and Etihad product. Quite exciting, all right. And of course, we must not forget the engines. Uh, yep. This looks exactly like the reality, right? It looks exactly like in real life. It is one to 200 scale model. Forgot to put the tail. <laughs> this will be the final product. This is how it looks like. A proper plane, ladies and gents. A proper Boeing 787 Etihad Airways Formula One livery. Oh yeah, exciting. So. This is my third model plane. I have one in my room. It's the same as this one. It's a Boeing 787 as well in my room. And I have this little guy here that's collecting dust. I should wipe it out. This is a Boeing 747. You will, you will start to see less and less of those aircraft actually in the skies nowadays. Uh, the ones that they have four engines because the operating costs are too much. The fuel, you know, it, it costs too much. There's not enough passengers traveling today. So those big aircraft with four engines like the Airbus A380 and the Boeing uh, 747, they are kind of fading out of the market. You will see them rarely in airports, you know, so it's, it's a shame, but I really like that, that small guy. This is the future. This is the future of aviation, uh, low, fuel consum consumption uh, composite material aircraft like this. Anyway, ladies and gents, I'm flying tomorrow night. I will have a flight to uh, India. I think it is Ahmedabad. And then I will have a flight to Kuala Lumpur, uh, Malaysia. Yeah. 
So looking forward to that. Uh, I don't know what January will, will bring, what kind of flights and roster will I have as a cabin crew. I have no idea, but the funny thing and interesting is that it is the first time, it is the first time I have the Christmas free. Uh, I don't have any flights on Christmas and I don't have any flight on New Year, at least not on 31st. That's weird. Usually as a flight attendant, for the past four years, I don't think I had any Christmas or New Year because I was flying. I did have a Christmas because I had vacation once but it doesn't happen often. So uh, for, for you guys that want to apply to become a cabin crew, to become a flight attendant or to become a pilot or to apply for a, one of those jobs that, that has no actual uh, stable schedule, <laughs> you'll have to deal with that. You'll have to deal with skipping uh, birthdays. You will have to deal with uh, skipping Christmas. You'll have to deal with not being present there for New Year. So. I guess that's one of the drawbacks of, of this job, of the job of cabin crew. Um, it's one of the, the drawbacks along with uh, no sleep, at least for me, <laughs> no sleep during the night, if you have night flights. But uh, it's something I can deal with and it's something that I can manage. So um, it's not that big of a deal, let's say. I think no matter what your job is, you have to stay healthy, you know, stay active and deal with it and that's it i deal with those things on a, on a daily basis right at least for the past four years four to five years um so that's it ladies and gents uh thank you everybody for watching this video boeing 787 <laughs> i might post more videos in the upcoming days i know it it was quite a long break uh but i will try to be more consistent I cannot promise. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, my name is Alex. See you guys.